What's up ladies and gentlemen, Wolfcryer here with some refresher tips for leveling from 1 to 70 in the upcoming season. Season number 14 in Diablo 3 starts on June 15th and hopefully these tips help you level quickly and efficiently. And I know a lot of this is old hat to most of us but if this video helps one single person out there it has done its job. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we go. First and foremost, I need to remind everybody, do not do the upcoming challenge rift. Save that for after you create your season 14 character. And then go ahead, jump in, do the challenge rift, get your mats and your gold, and that will be amazingly helpful for when you start your season. Now, once you have your challenge rift done and jump in the game, the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything else is run over to your follower, preferably your Templar or maybe even your Enchantress and steal their weapon. It has a higher base damage than the weapon that you start with and you can use it right away. So just ditch yours and steal your followers. That's going to give you a decent damage boost right off the bat before you even kill any monster whatsoever. One big helpful tip is along the way, rubies are your best friend. Rubies socketed into helmets offer experience boost and rubies Placed into your weapons, offer a damage bonus. Emeralds are pretty much useless early on, so don't try to get that emerald into your weapon for that crit damage. You're going to need the straight up damage that a ruby provides, because that is going to be much more beneficial to you. You're not going to crit a lot. You don't have any paragon points into crit. You don't have any gear that gives you crit chance, so go for the damage. Now, if you are grouping, I personally would suggest running Nephilim Rifts in a four-man setup because four-man is obviously going to give you more XP. And if you are in solo mode, you're going to want to do Massacre bonuses. So you're going to want to pick a place like my personal favorite, Fields of Misery, or you could do Festering Woods, maybe Halls of Agony. These are places that are going to allow you to chain kill the enemies so that you can rack up Massacre bonuses and level much faster than just killing mobs. And speaking of leveling, you want to level on hard or master, preferably. Expert is kind of trash because the experience bonus that it gives doesn't really relate well to the increase in difficulty that the mobs offer. So it's not really conducive to do expert mode. You want to go hard or master. What I would say is that if expert mode is really fast for you, very efficient, and yet you are unable to do master whatsoever, then maybe, maybe switch into expert. But like I said, it's got to be really, really worth it to switch up from hard because you're going to do hard a lot faster. You're going to get those massacre bonuses faster if you're solo. And it, it just doesn't give you enough in my opinion, unless you're doing it very quickly, very efficiently. Other than that, try to move up to master. If you're in a group or if you get a really good couple of drops in solo, you might be able to bump it up to torment one for a little bit, but once that becomes inefficient, you need to drop it back down to master. Stay at a nice even pace. When you're solo getting those massacre bonuses, when you're grouping, you want to be getting that Nephilim Rift done rather quickly. Get your XP from the mobs, get your XP from the turn in, and then move on to the next. Another good suggestion is right off the bat at level one. Go and kill a bounty-related boss. I personally prefer finding Zoltan Cool when he's a bounty right off the bat. Run into him and getting that chance at early, early upgrades. This is going to help you out during the first few levels. And if you can level quickly, hopefully you can get more drops and get more gear and level up faster as you go. The first few levels can be done rather quickly using a bounty boss for an upgrade and stealing your follower's weapon so those are two things that are going to really help your damage output really early on the next suggestion is finding a leoric crown but let it come to you some people suggest that you get your leoric crown from story mode but i do not recall any season whatsoever in which i did not get a leoric crown early on in the season 
Once you do have one, you want to pop the highest ruby you have into it and get right back to leveling. Remember, those rubies offer increased experience. So as soon as you have that Leoric's crown, pop that ruby in, get right back to gaming. Also, during your leveling, I personally would try to get a full set of Act 1 or Act 2 bounties done, but save them to turn in until you reach level 23, because at level 23, you can receive the Kane's Gear recipe drops, and you can start wearing Kane's, which is more XP boost for your character, and this is going to help you level much faster, much more efficiently. We're going for efficiency early on so that you can get your level 70. You can start getting your Hadrix's gift stuff done. You can get your gear rolling, and then you can start leveling that Paragon really quickly. But I always try to get the first 70 levels done between two and four hours, depending on what character class I'm playing, if I'm used to it or not, and what type of group setup I have, that sort of thing. So you want to do all these things as well as Craft weapons pretty often, but not at the expense of leveling. Try to craft only when you feel you have lost your efficiency. And make sure that you do craft at level 42 to start trying to get some level 60 gear with reduced level requirement. And at level 61, 62, you can also start trying to craft level 70 gear with reduced level requirement as well. Both of these are going to give you massive damage bonuses and help you breeze through those last few levels. At least until about 68, 69, those are probably going to take you a lot longer, but you'll be able to do them nice and quick because you're going to have this gear set up for you. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this helps somebody out there. Thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to check out my video. I greatly appreciate it always. Don't forget to leave a comment down below what you're playing in Season 14, what your goals are, what build, what class. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. I will be starting off as Monk in Season 14, hardcore mode only for me as far as Season 14 goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so very much. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to do that now. Also hit that like button. Always greatly appreciate that as well. And good luck in season 14. Thank you all so very much. Peace.